Welcome guys to your uh, fourth Java tutorial in NetBeans IDE. Today I'm going to cover up the topic of uh, how to create methods and how to use uh, various types of methods uh, within the Java environment. Uh, so let's start off with the basic uh, definition uh, that is uh, what is what is the Java method. Now a Java method is nothing but a collection of statements that uh, are grouped together to perform an operation. So when you call say a system dot out dot print event method, for example, the system actually executes several statements in order to display a particular message on the console. So uh, let's get uh, started with a very basic uh, uh, syntax of uh, how to create a particular method. So I'm just going to create a simple method within this particular class, which have which we have used on you know the previous. Uh, classes or the previous uh, tutorials so I'm just going to create a syntax of how to create a method now this is how a method is supposed to be declared uh, first we have this part which is called as a modifier it is also called as an access modifier it specifies uh, who can access this me method and where can it be accessed within the particular project so there are various access modifiers like public protected uh, default uh, and private okay and uh, all these access modifiers uh, specify uh, the uh, level of security which a method can have so the modifier this is basically optional uh, in Java uh, and it tells the comp uh, compiler how to call a particular method and uh, the next one we have is the return type that is void in this case we have used void but uh, we can use various other uh, uh, return types like uh, string we can use the string type Sorry. Okay, so we can use the uh, string uh, return type now when you declare uh, the return type as string you have to return a particular uh, string method so if you do not return a particular string method uh, or a string uh, character uh, within this method you will get an error so uh, for the sake of this uh, tutorial I'm going to just uh, create a simple non returning uh, method and I'm going to create a simple println statement which will just print uh, some random text that's it now uh, okay what is this okay system extremely sorry guys today system dot other println and this is uh, inside the method now uh, for calling this particular method we need to create an object so I'm just going to create an object of this class animal so you create an object using this particular syntax which I have uh, discussed in the previous uh, previous tutorial so you can just use the name of the object to call this particular method so in NetBeans you get a list of uh, the methods which are available for your particular object so you can just select method demo which I have just created over here now when you run the particular program you will get the output this is inside method there you go now this is a type of method which we have created which is uh, which does not take anything as an argument so now we are going to create a method which uh, takes in some characters or some string or some integers uh, as an argument so I'm going to create a method say public void add and I'm going to add two integers okay now within when you when you're passing a parameter uh, to a method you have to specify the list of arguments which you're going to pass within this parenthesis of the method so I'm going to pass uh, two integers say in num1 comma and int num2 okay so we're going to add two numbers in this so I'm just going to say fine I'm going to add two numbers so I'm just going to add the numbers 
within the println statement which you can do or you can just do the addition uh, sorry, and uh, you can just uh, uh, add it and put it put the result in the uh, integer uh, result and print that particular result also uh, for the sake of this particular tutorial I'm just going to create a very simple uh, way of doing this that is just displaying the addition within the uh, within the uh, block of uh, system dot out dot print element. And this will work perfectly fine. This will give you the addition of the two arguments which you have passed in the argument list over here. Now our work is not done yet. Okay, while uh, while basically calling this particular method through our main class, what we need to do is we need to pass the list of uh, integers which we want to add, right? So we are going to add two numbers, and I'm going to pass the number say 10. The first integer and 20. Okay, I'm going to pass this. So our main two lines which you need to consider while creating an augmented uh, method is that one, you need to create a method having an argument such as this within its parameters, and second, you need to create uh, an uh, uh, reference to that that is using the object you need to call that particular method and pass the values which you want to add that is 10 and 20 in this case so we are going to run this particular program and we are going to see what it gives us the output it should give the addition of the two numbers that is 30 so here we go we got the addition is 30 so this other this is the two types of uh, basic methods which we can create in Java programming language and uh, there are various other uh, concepts also which you are going to learn in further tutorials that is how to do uh, method over overloading how to do method uh, overriding very important concepts and uh, that's it for now uh, hit like if you like the video uh, dislike the video if you disliked it and uh, subscribe uh, this channel to get more of these content and uh, thanks guys cheers